Wait, this tastes different. From certain cereals, cookies, and chocolate to even the world's top soda, these are 10 brands that don't always taste the same. Look at this recipe. Look at the recipe. Coca-Cola. You sure there's no rum in that Coca-Cola? Maybe we should be more specific and say McDonald's Coke. This Coke is rumored to taste different from canned Coke, bottled Coke, and, depending on who you talk to, even the same soda served at other restaurants. And it turns out this isn't just a rumor, but is actually a real thing. Now, you might be wondering, why is McDonald's Coke so unique? Well, it turns out that there's a perfectly good explanation. It's all about the delivery method. You see, most restaurants that serve Fountain Coke get their syrup mix delivered in plastic bags. Not McD's. The fast food giant continues to get their syrup delivered in stainless steel tanks. This ensures that the syrup is always fresh. Since the magical concoction of carbonation and Coca-Cola syrup is a bit of a chemist's dance, the freshness of the Coke syrup can change the whole flavor profile. I just made a few creative changes to the recipe. Cans and bottles of Coke are obviously pre-mixed during the production process, but McDonald's Coke is a whole other story. The syrupy, carbonated drink is made right there at the fountain machine in the restaurant. It's not pre-mixed like your standard canned or bottled Coke. Nope, McDonald's does it differently. The moment you press that button and start pouring, the syrup and carbonation join forces in a symphony of taste. This instant blending creates a unique flavor that sets McDonald's Coke apart from the rest. It's like a mini science experiment happening right before your eyes. So next time you sip on a McDonald's Coke, remember that you're experiencing a one-of-a-kind soda sensation. So it's not just a rumor, it's a delicious reality born from tanks of syrup and fizz. It really is special. Kraft Mac and Cheese. Nah, it's Kraft Croft Night. Mac and cheese and Tomb Raider. Ah, the mysteries of changing flavors continue, and this time we're delving into the comfort food kingdom with Kraft Mac and Cheese. We've all experienced that familiar blue box of cheesy goodness, but did you know that the taste of this beloved dish has undergone its own transformation? You see, some brands like Kraft Mac and Cheese have decided to revamp their recipes, striving to make their products a bit more health conscious, out with the artificial flavors and colors, and in with the natural goodness. So if you found yourself wondering if your mac and cheese tasted a tad different around 2016, you weren't imagining things. Kraft Mac and Cheese embarked on swapping out artificial additives like yellow number five and six for more natural alternatives such as turmeric and paprika. A pinch of paprika. That's right, folks, they decided to embrace the vibrant hues and flavors nature has to offer. Now, while some diehard fans might have noticed a subtle shift in the taste, others applauded the move towards cleaner ingredients. It's like a small but significant evolution in the world of comfort food. The mac and cheese we know and love got a makeover all in the name of healthier, tastier bites. Next time you're savoring that creamy, cheesy bowl of Kraft Mac and Cheese, remember that it's not just a meal, it's a journey through the changing landscape of flavor. Brands like Kraft are keeping us on our toes, redefining our taste buds one recipe tweak at a time. Stay tuned, snack enthusiasts, for there's always a new flavor twist just around the corner. It's coming. Oreos. You don't eat Oreos? The way you break them open, you're... Uh, uh. Something that's gotta make vegans everywhere rejoice is the fact that Oreos are vegan-friendly. Yep, those creamy, centered cookies are lacking in actual cream and dairy. But this wasn't always the case. Over time, they've slowly been changing and updating their recipe. And just like with Kraft Mac and Cheese, their flavor has subtly changed and shifted alongside the ingredients list. Let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? In the early days, Oreos were crafted with an ingredient that might raise a few eyebrows, lard. Now, while lard might not sound overly appealing, it was what gave those cookies their distinctive taste and texture. But times change, and so has the recipe. It's a whole new world. Lard was out and trans fats were in, giving Oreos a different flavor profile. However, trans fats soon fell out of favor in the culinary world, sending the Oreo food scientists back to the drawing board once more. Fast forward to today, and the secret behind that deliciously creamy filling are vegetable oils. Yep, that's right, vegetable oils are now the key players in Oreo's recipe, providing that signature smoothness that we all know and love. So if you find that Oreos don't quite 
might taste the same as they once did, it might not just be in your head. It could be that the cookie giant has revisited its recipe to keep up with the changing demands of consumers. Trendy stuff is just trendy, so what? First time here? Well, what are you waiting for? Take a quick second to hit that subscribe button. Everyone else is doing it. Thanks so much. Chips Ahoy. If I want a Chip Ahoy, I'm having it. We're diving into another cookie brand we all know and love and likely had in your lunch bag at school, Chips Ahoy. Once upon a time, Chips Ahoy cookies were a guaranteed crowd pleaser. But if you've noticed a change in their flavor recently, you're not alone. In fact, there's a whole community of nostalgic snack enthusiasts out there who share your confusion, frustration, and disappointment. They're the ones who grew up savoring the classic taste of Chips Ahoy, only to find that, well, something was different. The internet, as always, is a hub of discussion, and there are entire Reddit threads dedicated to dissecting this cookie conundrum. The man's dedicated. It appears that Chips Ahoy have quietly tweaked the recipe. While the changes might seem small, they've had a noticeable impact on the taste. It's like a subtle remix of a beloved song, familiar yet not quite right. For those who've grown up with the comforting embrace of Chips Ahoy, this alteration has caused some mixed feelings. Some still love them, while others yearn for the flavor of yesteryear. It's a reminder that even the most cherished snacks can evolve, and sometimes that evolution leaves you craving a taste of the past. I just want it. Nutella. You can have a finger scoop. Of Nutella. The velvety hazelnut and chocolate spread that filled dreams all through childhood, and let's be honest, still enters our minds as adults, Nutella has also undergone changes to its original recipe. The company insists that the flavor remains untouched, but it's what's going on behind the scenes that has ignited a spirited debate among fans. So what's the scoop on Nutella's recipe evolution? Well, it all comes down to sugar and milk. Over in Europe, they decided to dial up the sweetness a bit, adding more sugar and a dash of skim milk to the mix. Just throw everything in. In the United States, they took a different route by replacing milk powder with whey powder. Now, here's the kicker. The company justified these tweaks as improvements meant to enhance quality and consistency. In theory, the flavor shouldn't have been affected. But as the saying goes, the proof is in the pudding, or Nutella in this case. And fans started to notice the subtle shifts. Fans of the sweet, chocolatey spread noticed and took their frustrations to social media, as many people do these these days. This begs the question, have you noticed a difference in the taste of Nutella? Let me know. McDonald's French fries. Oh, French fries. God. It's no secret that McDonald's has changed its recipes over time. I guess when you've been in business as long as the Big M has, change is inevitable. But what you may not have realized is that the company has changed the way it prepares its famous french fries over the years. And this might be why the fries taste different today compared to years ago. The difference? McDonald's fries are now cooked in vegetable oil. And yes, for those wondering, at one time McDonald's fries contained animal products. How exactly can deep-fried potatoes fail to be considered vegetarian? Because they were fried in beef fat. It's just too much for me. When the use of beef fat became common knowledge, it led to quite the uproar. And by quite the uproar, we mean people were livid and lawsuits ensued, as many people who didn't eat meat for personal and religious reasons were unaware of the ingredient. Today, the fries are cooked in vegetable oil, so there's no need to worry, except maybe in the US, where the addition of beef flavoring is added to the mix. And McDonald's french fries aren't the only menu item to have gone through some changes. McDonald's has also made changes to its ice cream recipe over the years. The change was made to limit artificial ingredients and to make the product more natural. This sounds like it should have a huge impact on the flavor, but many people actually didn't even notice. The recipe had been changed for months before the company announced it, so many enjoyed their ice cream and never realized a change had been made. Wait a second. Taco Bell's Nacho Cheese Rats gave birth to nacho cheese. It's easy to forget that food coloring is a common ingredient in many of our favorite foods. 
sometimes regulations on food coloring and even the cost of food colorings change. And that means food brands have to head back to the drawing board and make some changes to their ingredients list. This was the case with Taco Bell's nacho cheese. Yes, we're talking about that ooey gooey delicious cheese that's a staple in every Taco Bell outlet. It's a big deal. This cheese was made with yellow number six, a food coloring additive that offers more than just that bright yellow we associate with our nacho cheese. The ingredient is also believed to contribute to hives and hyperactivity, particularly in kids. In an effort to bring more natural colors and flavorings to their menu, Taco Bell swapped out this ingredient, and you may just find that you taste the difference. This tastes weird. Twinkies. Twinkie, 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 Twinkie. Whoa. These golden sponge cake wonders have been tantalizing taste buds for generations and have since become a pop culture icon. The sweet snack has made appearances in iconic films like Ghostbusters and Zombieland. Part of the obsession surrounding Twinkies has been the rumor that they'll last forever. This isn't true, by the way. But did you know that these iconic snacks have a story filled with twists and turns? Twinkies have undergone many changes throughout their existence, including a brief disappearing act when the company went bankrupt. These changes have included ownership, ingredients, and taste. The biggest change, and you may not believe it, was to the flavor. Please, God, no! The original Twinkie was made with a banana cream filling. This was a staple of the snack until World War II when bananas became harder to come by. After this, it was made with the classic vanilla filling we all know and love. When the company went bankrupt in 2013, Twinkies disappeared from store shelves entirely, but they were saved a few years later and brought back, much to fans' delight. But the new Twinkie had undergone some changes that definitely altered the flavor, the appearance and even the shelf life of the product. No clear answer was ever found about why it was changed, or even how, since the recipe is top secret. Top secret, remember? Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms, anyone? They're magically delicious, even if they don't taste the way you remember they did when you were a kid. Just like many other items on this list, Lucky Charms altered their recipe to remove certain food colorings. And given how bright the cereal is, it's understandable that this change would alter the flavor and even marshmallow options for this cereal. Even before food colorings were cause for concern, Lucky Charms had many different marshmallows, or charms, that have come and gone. They just disappeared? Little charms like horseshoes, hearts, moons, balloons, and more have had their moment of glory in the breakfast cereal and then were phased out. Nowadays, Lucky Charms consists of its cereal with marshmallow charms like rainbows, pots of gold, and four-leaf clovers. And while visually they still look like a bowl of colorful gems and a sweet treat, the flavor just isn't the same as it once was. How'd that happen? Cadbury Cream Eggs. Let's crack a Cadbury egg over the whole thing. When Cadbury announced that they were going to make changes to their classic cream eggs, people, particularly those in the United Kingdom, were outraged. It turns out the outrage was relegated to fans across the pond because in the U.S., the recipe was to remain unchanged, although the size sure has seen some transformations. But in the United Kingdom, the recipe was dramatically changed. The cream eggs chocolate shell switched from using Cadbury well-known and loved dairy milk chocolate recipe to its standard milk chocolate. Why, why, why would you do that? This, of course, means that the flavor will never be quite the same. And there's something incredibly sad about a classic favorite not delivering the same punch that it once did. In the States, however, the makers of cream eggs came out and made statements to let their fans know that the changes in the UK would have no impact on the cream eggs available to Americans. Oh, thank God. Tap or click to enjoy another one of our great videos and show us some love by hitting that subscribe button and ringing that notification bell.